hello what's up youtube in this tutorial i want to show you how you can easily retain natural and rich skin texture in your images every single time you retouch your photos using frequency passion so this is a tutorial for those that are always struggling to nail or get that nice and perfect skin textures or skin details in the images so this doesn't really matter if at all you use a mixer brush tool or if at all you use the lasso tool technique for skin retouching when you're using frequency separation as a skin retouching technique so let me show you how we have to understand each and everything so the way first thing is you have to understand the basics or the basics of frequency separation and you always have to apply the right frequency separation technique for the right bit depth of the image so just look at the image right here so you can see that this is a 16-bit image so you always have to apply the right frequency separation for the right image you don't want to apply the wrong frequency separation on a given image because that is the very first step you have to take into consideration so next step that you have to understand and take into consideration in order to nail skin texture is you have to understand which layer and amount of gaussian blur you apply to your frequency separation layer so i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to simply duplicate the background layer by hitting control ctrl j command j twice and usually we name this to low and we name this higher upper layer rather to high and now we turn this off so i want to show you the basis from the very start so that when you're playing your action you don't mishandle or misuse this very step so the step i'm about to show you is the one that is going to determine the amount of skin textures that you're going to be remaining with in your image so if i told you misuse this step that i'm about to show you you're not going to be able to nail or get that nice and perfect skin details in your images so just come and select the low frequency layer so usually this is the point when your action stops and you apply a given gaussian blur radius to your image so we select the low frequency layer and just come right here to filter then we come to blur and come down to gaussian blur right here so when you come to gaussian blur this is the most important step for your skin texture so you have to zoom in and look for an area that has many or prominent skin textures in your image so for this case I'm going to be using this as a reference so in order to retain skin textures you have to move the radius up to a point when you're just starting to lose out or these are just starting to get lost so you have just to stop at the point when you're just starting to get lost or lose out on the textures in the image so just move the radius up to that point when you're just starting to lose out on the details so you have to stop at that point so at around 7 that is when i'm just starting to lose out so you don't have to take it all the way up just stop at that point when you're just starting to lose out on the skin textures in the image and after doing that you can still make sure that you can still notice the other facial structures or the other details in the body but you have just started losing out on the skin textures in your photo and after doing that just come and hit ok so usually we come so when it, this is done we usually come and we select the high frequency layer so just select it and now activate it so we come to image and we come down to apply image so like i said you have to apply the right frequency separation for the right bit of the image so usually i have 16 bit images but if i told you have an 8 bit image these are the settings you have to be using so if i told you have an 8 bit frequency separation action it is automatically going to do this for you but if i told you don't know everything this is what you have to consider right now so just come to the layer and make sure you select the low frequency layer make sure this low frequency layer has been selected because we are just we are extracting the textures from the low frequency layer and if at all you're using an 8-bit image make sure the blend mode is subtract and make sure the opacity is at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check make sure the scale is 2 and offset 128 and make sure invert is not checked right here and with the preview option checked right here you can see the textures are on this gray kind of layer so that is for an 8-bit image so that means that you have 8 right here but if at all you have a 16-bit image simply come and change the blending mode to add and make sure the opacity is at 100% preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale has to be 2 and offset 0 make sure invert has been turned on and this time around you can see we have the same result so for an 8 for a 16 bit image we always turn on the invert option 
and the scale is 2, offset 0 and the blend mode is add. So just come and hit OK. And now we're just going to come and change the blend mode to linear light. Just right here and get back the image where it is meant to be. So usually we put these two in a group. So we select both by hitting Ctrl command and we drag this into a group. So this is going to be our frequency separation group. So we're just going to open the group by clicking on the drop, di drop down icon and come and select the low frequency layer. So like I said, this doesn't matter if at all you use the lasso tool or the mixer brush tool as a skin retouching tool. So for a first kind of people, I'm just going to deal with those that use only the mixer brush tool to retouch. So come under the brushes, simply right click and you get your mixer brush tool and make sure you set it right. The hardness is at zero and now make sure it is a clean brush and also make sure that clean brush after each and every stroke has been checked right here and is highlighted in black or a darker color the weight i'm going to be using is nine percent the load is 75 percent the mix is 90 percent and the flow of 100 percent make sure sample oilers is not checked because when you check this sample oilers option and you paint on the image it means that it's going to also sample the textures and also paint them in the low frequency layer and you're going to be getting a very rough and weird texture so make sure sample oilers has not been checked and in order to see where to blend the skin tones using a mixer brush tool simply turn off the high frequency because textures may be a little bit distracting when you're trying to blend or mix the skin tones in the image so make sure you turn off the texture layer or the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer Increase on the size of your mixer brush tool by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard. And now, how to use it? Just come and left click. And if I told you mixer brush tool is showing a cross, make sure you turn off the caps lock key by simply pressing the caps key on the keyboard. And now, simply paint colors that are looking alike in the image and just harmonize them. So, the more plastic the image tends to become, the better the results you're going to be getting out of your image so let's just come and paint through just like that and you can see this looks great and like i said the more plastic it looks the better but in this case you're going to be noticing that you're going to be retaining the natural skin textures in the image so i'm just going to come and i turn on the texture layer and when i turn the group on and off let me just try zooming in for you so when I turn this on and off, you can see we have retained the original or natural skin textures in this very image. So that is how to retain the details using the Mr. Brush tool. So you can work on the overall image. And later on, select the texture layer and remove the blemishes. So next, I'm just going to undo some of the steps right here. So next, I want to handle people that use the Mr. Brush tool in order to blend or even out the skin tones of the images so in order to retain skin texture in the images you come and simply select the lasso tool and make sure new selection mode has been selected right here and now make sure the feather is 22 pixels because if at all your feather is at around 0 pixels and you make a selection on the skin it means that it's going to create a rough edge on the edges of the selection and it's going to look a little bit weird so we want the edges to be as smooth as possible so i select 22 pixels and ant alias has been selected with the low frequency layer selected we have to zoom in slightly and now make a selection on the skin area so you have to keep away from the edges the eyebrows or the hair of the model so only make a selection on the skin of the model and you also have to follow along the way a given area has been shaped so we come to filter blur and we come to gaussian blur so remember, usually when we are applying our frequency separation, we had a radius of 7. So it is going to automatically show right here. And like I said, you always don't have to cram this value because it may be differing from one image to another. So you're just going to simply move the radius up to a point when you are feeling like you're getting the best skin texture out of this very image. So at around 21, I'm getting a very nice skin texture and a texture which is natural and as well blending or evening out the skin of the model so let me just zoom in and simply hit ok so when you're done you just come and apply ok or you select ok right here and you can see 
that looks okay but i would always recommend that you always first of all use the mr bash tool and use this technique to refine the image and you're going to be having the best out of your image or out of your retouching process but if at all you want a technique that is going to show you and you don't have to slide after selecting using the lasso tool just come filter blend come down to gaussian blur right here so remember we had a radius of seven so usually multiply this radius by three and just type in the value so for whichever radius you may have used for your images just multiply that radius by three and when you reach the step for lasso tool multiply the radius by three and just type in that value so seven by three is 21 and you can see i have a very nice and detailed skin texture just like that and in order to apply it on other areas just come and make a selection right click and you apply your gaussian blur and you can see it works better but i would always recommend use the lasso tool then also incorporate the rather use the mixer brush tool and later on incorporate the mixer use the mixer brush tool and later on incorporate the lasso tool technique to fine tune your image so first of all use the mixer brush tool and later on use the lasso tool technique to fine tune the image even more so this is it for today's story and if at all you love this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating